what was the difference that happened from June, July of 2023, leading up into this 2024 Paris Olympic year? Um, big changes in the in the training group. Big changes in my lifestyle. Um, sitting down with my coach and saying like, this is what I want to do. And if I'm not meeting that standard to complete it, I need you to be harder on me and, you know, crack the whip a little bit. But, um, you know, I just making some changes in my life to see the results on the track and to do it and to see it and to feel it. It's a remarkable feeling. Like not a lot of people know, but that sub 13 that I just ran is the, is the most sub 13s ever ran in the, in the, in, in the, the history. Yeah. That's so, the, that's the number. you know, Alan Johnson had it. We were tied. AJ's my guy. Yeah. And, and you broke, yo, um, my next question would be the fact that you ran sub 13 in the under these conditions. What was that like? It felt good. I mean, even in the in the blocks, I was a little bit slippery coming out, but um, I recovered really well. And um, yeah, man, I just I'm just happy. You know, I mean, in, in the in the past, a lot of your critics have been saying that you know Grant runs very well, flies out of the blocks, struggles a bit last few hurdles. This particular season, that really hasn't been the case. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 the maturity in the event. You know, when I was losing those races out the back, I wasn't, I was unseasoned. I wasn't a veteran. I mean, now, like you think Parchment, myself, um, you think of Daniel Roberts, we've been, we've just been, obviously we've been the top three for so long. And, you know, I'm, I'm more mature in the event. So, like, I just want to continue just to get better. That wasn't my best race by any means, but, you know, I just want to just continue just to get better, keep challenging my team, keep challenging myself to um, see what's to come. I was having a conversation with a few people the other day because they saw the race between Carson and, and Mondo yesterday. And there's always a, bit, a lot of discussion about relays and this. And a lot of folks fail to realize that you ran the 4x400 when you are in university. Am I right? What's your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your best 400? 40, uh, I haven't ran the open four, but what's my best, best relay league? I think 43.7. 43, yeah, 43.7. Yeah, 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 yeah. um, and when I mentioned that to a lot of people, they were shocked. I said, yo, Grant can roll. He can put it down. Yeah. You know? um, my goal is to do more stuff like that. Track and field needs that. Exactly. Um, so, like, to see Mondo and Carson do that, I think it's great. You know, me and Ry, me and Ry Benjamin tried to do something like that with the 200-meter hurdles, but we just never got it off the ground. But I, I, I think the two of you guys are in a, in a, in a great space right now. Yeah. Because I know over the years that Ry had been injured, suffering from, you know, illnesses, injuries, transitioning. Like you just said, a lot of maturity yeah, that you, you had to go through and things you had to go through in your, uh, but at this point. Both of you guys are the old professional hurdlers at this, this point in time. Um, I love watching you run, watching you race. I remember watching you since college <laughs> and to see the matriculation at this point in time that you're a statesman for the, for the race, yeah, man. Uh, for the event itself. Um, what, do you have, what are your plans for the rest of the season? Uh, I got another meet in Bellinzona here in a couple of days, so prepare and get ready for that. And then obviously the Dominique final.